I'm going to show you how you can do the 3D tool holder. This is in chapter 13 of your technical drafting book. I've already opened up the template that we need to use and I'm going to get started here. Make sure you're in the 3D modeling workspace. That's where you're going to get all of the different um, ribbons and icons that you need to do 3D. I'm going to pull this down and notice I've got a bunch of layers that I don't need. So I'm going to turn off my centerline layer and I'm going to turn off my hidden layer. So I've just got the red here. The book actually shows exactly the parts that I need to go ahead and keep. So I'm going to just follow the picture in the book and delete this guy. I'm going to trim out this area here and get rid of this part and this part and then I'll just draw a line going perfectly straight up to perpendicular and trim this piece off. So I just need this little angled wedge right in here. Alright, so what I'm going to actually do, the book wants me to use the extrude command and I prefer the press pull command so I'm going to go ahead and delete out that guy. I'm going to use the press pull command. I'll select anywhere inside that object, kind of like you're hatching. You just click inside and it finds the boundary. And let's see, what's the depth here? 2.5 click right here. I'm going to come down a depth of one and then I'm going to get this little, remember that little cylinder sticking up? 0.25 was its distance and I'm actually going to do something a little different here. Now that I've made that guy I'm going to move him off to the side. <coughs> when you press pull it actually, I'll show you what it does, it actually finds the boundary and it makes a hole if you've got a circle there and I don't really want to hold that big so I've made my cylinder now I'm going to erase out this bigger circle here. Now I can press pull because the little hole does go all the way through. Distance of one. Now I can just move this guy right back into place. Pick him up from the center point, snap him to the center. And just a few more steps here. I'm going to rotate this guy right here. We'll bring him up an angle of 90 degrees. And then I'll just move everything into place. So I'll pick up this guy. I'm going to snap them into place to this corner right here actually and then I'll move these two together like that and the last step that I have to do is the union command and I'm just going to make this all one piece and you'll know I did the union command when these white lines disappear here because it stops being four separate objects and it becomes one big object and that's it I'm done with the 3D tool holder. I'll just come through here and delete out the extra 2D lines that I need and I'm done.